name it's uh, Lauren Hibbert that is a really big gig to do isn't it I South know, it's, South it's yeah. the biggest festival and all the musicians yeah. always want to go there and play so well done Lauren yeah. um, just to let you know that uh, you can hear Steph again of course on BBC introducing Solent uh, she's got temples of youth in Ooh. the live lounge this guy heard of them no. Sorry, no. Oh, yeah. Okay, but you but will have. It's introducing. Yeah, it's, it's the it's first place. Introduce. That's the whole point. <laughs> yeah. New bands, new bands. So listen to Steph on Saturday night, eight o'clock. Um, you had a bit of competition there with the I weather know, forecast. I know, she had great pointy you? action, didn't she? She did. She had a good map. She did. <laughs> 30 Celsius, I saw. We don't have this here. If only. <laughs> if only. <laughs> we do have some lovely weather pictures, though. Anne-Marie Funk took this picture of the morning mist at French and Ponds. Shot of cranes rising from the mist taken by Chris Byrne uh, in South Hampton. And Anne Winchester photographed Arundel Castle under the blue skies. So we had lovely blue, blue skies today, lovely sunny conditions, but there was a lot of mist and fog first thing this morning. This foggy picture was taken by one of our weather watchers in Tilehurst in Berkshire. We are expecting some mist and fog patches tomorrow morning, as well as patchy frost. But with the increasing breeze tomorrow, that should hopefully lift the mist and fog fairly quickly tomorrow morning. Overnight tonight, very like last night, we'll have clearing skies, but there will be a breeze. So temperatures won't be as low. We are looking at temperatures dropping to freezing or maybe down to minus one or minus two Celsius. So a cold, potentially frosty, misty, foggy start to the day tomorrow. The breeze, as I said earlier, will help the mist and fog lift fairly swiftly and we'll have a good deal of sunshine. High pressure is still dominating our weather. We'll start to see a little more cloud for western areas filling in during the afternoon. It's high cloud and temperatures will reach a high, in fact, um, of around 9 or 10 Celsius, so up into double figures. Tomorrow night, it will turn a little bit milder. But on the inshore waters tomorrow, the winds are southerly, varying west or southwesterly later, five or six, then decreasing three or four. The visibility is moderate or good, occasionally poor at first, and the sea state is moderate, occasionally rough. So tomorrow night, we'll start to see increasing cloud. It's tomorrow evening, we'll see outbreaks of light and patchy rain move north and eastwards. And with that, the skies will clear behind. So it's a milder night tomorrow night with lows of five to seven Celsius. To start Saturday, maybe a little bit more cloud for eastern parts, maybe some rain first thing, but it's a dry start, but it stays dry through the course of the day, but we'll see rain arrives on Saturday evening, and this is Storm Kira. You can see how closely packed those isobars are. The winds will be very strong, and with very strong gales, we'll see also some heavy rain at times. Let's take a look ahead to Storm Kira, because we could widely see wind gusts of between 60 and 70 miles per hour. That's even for inland areas that could, could cause travel disruption. We may see trees down in places. The winds will start to peak throughout the course of Sunday afternoon and into the evening. So wind gusts are between 60 and 70 miles per hour. A dry day on Saturday, but turning breezy as the day progresses and very windy on Sunday. It remains windy into next week. Sally. Alexis, thanks very much. Looks like the best day is going to be tomorrow, so enjoy it. Um, that's it from us this evening. There is, of course, more at 10.25 and we're back here tomorrow at half past six. Join us then if you can and in the meantime, time have a great evening from us all bye 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 good night